in recent days, there have been a number of reports and studies and new, about new treatments in the battle against cancer. Well, there's a new vaccine against the disease, which is one of those breakthroughs that's been raising hopes. It was developed by the French company Transgene, which presented fresh data at this year's American Society of Clinical Oncology, which is happening in Chicago. Well, let's find out more now. We can cross to Strasbourg and speak to Dr. Alessandro Riva, who is the chairman and the CEO of Transgene. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us. I can only imagine how busy you must be. Uh, two vaccines uh, have been developed by your company. And before I ask you how they work, uh, can I just ask you who they're aimed at? Are they aimed at people at risk of getting cancer or people who've already got it? So they are dedicated for people that uh, already have cancer. And uh, the main objective uh, is uh, to delay the recurrence uh, after uh, the surgery or uh, radiotherapy and chemotherapy. So these are, uh, you know, vaccines that are developed essentially so far for patients that uh, have a high risk of uh, recurrence. And, uh, and we are showing that uh, we are going towards the right direction in terms of uh, reducing uh, the relapse. OK, for people who don't have a background in medicine and science, perhaps you could uh, tell us in, in as simple terms as you possibly can a little bit about how uh, the vaccine works. So the, the data that uh, we have presented actually today at the American Society of Clinical Oncology is about, uh, you know, an important chapter of uh, immune oncology that is called a personalized cancer vaccine. So in a very simple words, what we are trying to do is to develop a vaccine that is able to attack specific mutations in the tumor of the patients that uh, that will allow actually to ultimately kill the tumor and avoid the relapse. So the difficult part of uh, this uh, exercise is really the technology around uh, how to identify the mutations uh, in the tumor of the patient that are specific uh, to that tumor and to that patient. Uh, and the second challenge, of course, is to, write, is to have the right vector uh, that uh, will allow to carry the death mutation to the tumor and uh, allow ultimately, you know, the immune system to develop uh, an immune response against the tumor. So it's uh, rather complex, uh, but at the same time, I would say simply, it is about uh, collecting uh, the biopsy from the patients uh, of the tumor. It's about, uh, you know, identifying the mutations of the tumor throughout uh, our technology that is uh, um, developed with uh, a Japanese company, NEC, throughout the artificial intelligence, and then to, to put those mutations that we, um, we think being predictive for uh, an immune response into a carrier, for us is a virus, and then inject that uh, vaccine to, to the patient and, uh, and observing the results. So the data that we have presented today at ASCO are very encouraging because among 16 patients that uh, received our vaccine, uh, no one has relapsed after a, a, a more than uh, more than uh, a year follow-up. So this is kind of encouraging, still very early, but uh, you know we 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 are committed to follow up the patients with longer follow-up and potentially also to open the development to other indications. Yeah, amazing. There should have been no relapses. And we've done lots yeah. of reports in the last 10 days or so about artificial intelligence and the dangers that it poses. Uh, but this is an example, as you say, of artificial intelligence actually potentially saving our lives. Um, I just want to ask you, does this vaccine work for all cancers or is it specifically uh, targeting uh, certain types of cancer? It has the potential to, to, be, uh, to work in all cancers. And of course, again, uh, it is about the identification of the specific mutation of that specific cancer in that specific patient. But because the, uh, the algorithm that we are developing is rather sophisticated, we continue to feed it up with new data. We think that we can... Oh, sounds like we've lost our guest there. Sorry about that. Dr. Alessandro Riva appears to have frozen there uh, mid-sentence, but really interesting to speak to him. Uh, and if you are able to hear us, thank you very much indeed uh, for taking the time to talk to us and congratulations on that study.